Hello dear friends, once again I meet you through this online video uh, through Instagram and YouTube. Uh, I welcome you all to this channel and I thank all the subscribers uh, who have been seeing the praise and worship throughout this year. Uh, I started this channel around 11 years ago. I never expected that I will have subscribers or I will even upload videos in this channel but today by god's grace uh there's a milestone we have crossed six thousand subscribers who have been blessed through the praise and worship uh which regularly happens in our church and by the videos uh there are so many encouraging comments encouraging words by believers across the globe uh whom they send me messages they being blessed by the praise and worship. I give all the glory to God and every praise belongs to Him. Uh, I remember the times where uh, where I didn't even have the permission to touch the microphone and God blessed uh, me with the best of all through these years and always. I would like to read one verse uh, it will encourage you for sure. Uh, the book of Isaiah 25, 1. Uh, it says, O Lord, I will honor and praise your name, for you are my God. You do such wonderful things. You planned them long ago, and now you have accomplished them. Uh, what we start, sometimes as an accident, we don't know that there is a purpose behind it. Sometimes we do certain things uh, which we never intend to do or we just do it for a fun or sometimes we just do it. Uh, but behind that there is some purpose which God really puts in. Sometimes for a play, you know, for a thing we pick up hobbies, we pick up uh, things which we want to pursue. Sometimes unplanned things come in our life, you know, but there is something behind that where God has planned them long ago. That's what the Bible says. And when you see them coming to a fruitfulness and you being blessed by it, and you understand that there is a God behind it working and orchestrating the entire thing uh, in perfect harmony. Uh, there are times in my life where I have uh, picked up a career, picked up things in my life which I never imagined, neither even thought, uh, neither even thought that it will come into existence as a benefit for the kingdom of God and as well as for me. But today I turn back and see the small things which started for uh, as a time being, but it evolved into a blessing. It evolved into a best thing in my life and God blessed it immensely and i understood after reading this verse that he had planned them long ago and now you have accomplished them today i believe that god has started something in your life you have started something but understand and always cling to the will of god and you will see them evolving and you will see them accomplished by the help of god and you will one day testify that God started this and it has been a blessing in my life. And coming to the praise and worship, uh, praise and worship is one good thing which we can tell how God is and what he has been in our life. We need to remember that God already dwells in a glory. God dwells in the magnificent glory. He is in the glory and he is the glory. And when we praise, when we worship him, we, we get a revelation of his glory in our life. Uh, there are many times uh, I ask God this, God, give me your faith. Lord, give me your faith. I need your faith to see the things how you see through your eyes. When we have the uh, faith of God, when we have the eyes of God, we see everything in a very different view. We start seeing them in a very perfect way, uh, even though there are mistakes. We come, we evolved in mistakes. We made mistakes in our life. But God saw something beyond that. God saw something above that. And he saw through his eyes of faith, the best, which is which has been put in us as a purpose. And this, uh, uh, in my life, I can test testify that, you know, he picked me up from the garbage. He picked me from the dust and he 
blessed me. There is a long testimony. Maybe one day I'll surely share that with you all. But believing in the faithfulness of God, believing in the word of God, believing in the idea which God gives you, believing in what God puts in your heart, there is always an accomplishment which comes from God. So do not worry, friends. Uh, it's a great pleasure, you know, you all being a part of uh, the God's kingdom and being blessed by it. Keep pressing forward towards the goal which God has kept for your life. Keep moving ahead and keep seeing them through the eyes of faith. That is the most important thing uh, which I would like to share this moment. And the uh, psalmist says, my inmost beings praise him. Let everything within you, everything which you have, everything which, which God has given you, give it back to him in the form of worship. Give him back in the form of love. Give him back in the form of a true heart which is submissive to him. A true heart which longs for him, which always desires for him, which always wants to see him, which always wants to worship him, which always wants to tell the goodness of God. Keep pursuing it. Keep going forward. That's what I want to tell you today. And my mouth will be filled with praise all the time because I have a supernatural God who is inside of me, who is running uh, running, helping me to run this race. So keep your mouth always filled with praise and your heart full with worship to him and be in true devotion to him and spend more time in the presence of God. Worship him. When so many people ask him, what is that really pushes you to worship? When you love God, there is nobody need to lead you in worship. Automatically, the within your heart, you know that there is a worship which is which is inside of you. You know there is no worship leaders in heaven. God Himself is centered in the throne. There is nobody is leading, but the entire heaven is bowing before Him and giving the worship. Nobody is pushing them to do a worship, but because they love God, because they see the glory of God, because they are seeing God. 24-7, they know that there is nothing they can give but just worship Him with all their heart and put their throne down and cast everything before Him completely. Thank you so much, friends. Thanks for being part of uh, the God's kingdom. That's what I would say. I would not personalize anything. Uh, thanks for being a part of God's kingdom and thanks for all the subscribers and please share the videos and send. I have never asked this ever in any of the videos, neither told or promoted anything as such just as you are blessed bless everyone that's what i want to say and wrap this up thank you so much may god bless you all see you soon god bless you and prepare yourself for the greater things which god has kept for your life amen in jesus name god bless you